Hello and welcome. I'm Nafel42, and you guys aren't going to believe this, but I just recorded this whole video and then realized that I forgot to press record. So I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to try and do it a bit more brief this time because I've already obviously done this video, so maybe I know a bit more about it this time. So I printed a Marvin. Uh, I reflashed Bruce back to the original firmware. If you guys want help on how to do that or you want me to make a video on how to do that, um, I will uh, well let me know in the, in the comment section below and I'll show you how to do that um, but if you haven't changed it away from the original firmware that came with the printer or the the extra flashed one uh, and you want an easy way to do that um, you can do it through the settings that you get up here um, in uh, Octoprint so there you go I also have a slicer profile for it set up so if you want this slicer profile let me know in the comment section below and I will also link to that because that would be very useful for, for anyone who needs to slice stuff on here. Now, I'm going to go over here, and as you can see, there's Marvin. Now, Marvin's looking pretty good, and yeah, he definitely is. Let me just pick him up. Now, obviously, behind him, it looks like there's a bit of a problem, and there, there was a bit of a problem. But keep, keep note of the key parts here, the bit, middle bit here, that's always a little bit of a tricky part. The bit up top here, usually if it's too hot, that's where you'll notice it. Uh, and the side bits, these are the bits of high detail. Um, now the bottom bit, I think there's a bit of gunk on the print nozzle, and that's why there's a little bit of a little bit of a crud on his foot. But other than that, it's uh, it's not too bad. Now if we look at the bottom layer, it came out pretty well. I will have to say I was printing on uh, the Prusa filament, uh, the Prusament, is it Prusament? Yeah, Prusament, and that filament has pretty much never done me wrong, but yeah, take it as you will, this has printed very well, and I'm very happy with the results of it. So yeah, this is the printer at the moment, um, <laughs> I, I've i kind of restored it a bit more, I've got the new Prusa filament inside, uh, it's looking all nice it's looking really good uh, I've got the fan holder in here um, with everything wired in properly and what this did as well when I re reflashed this uh, printer it reset all the interesting uh, PID codes and all that kind of crap um, which is good because now it does seem to work correctly so uh, the first thing that I did when I got this was I tried to level the print bed. Now without their original software it's, it is a little bit awkward to do it. Now as long as this this surface here this surface here is flat then uh, it's not the worst to do. So I'll show you how I um, how I did this. So basically what you want to do is you want to definitely make sure that this is in the middle uh, and obviously if it's uh, locked in it's not going to move at all so let's uh, just shake it over a little bit before lock yeah so that's about middle so yeah pretty much something of where of where matey boy was is where we're going to want to test this so oh, I probably didn't hold that in the right place but yeah there you go now the nozzle head is here I'm going to go back over to here now in here, there's a load of different codes and stuff that you might want to use at some point. Uh, for the more aggressive temperature movement, um, M301, set that to P15. I wouldn't actually go as high as P15 at the moment. I'd set it to P3 because the default was P, uh, P2. Uh, oh, M301, of course. Yeah, so if we go M301, oh, M301. Enter. It should return the M31 code. If I turn auto scroll back on, there we go. Uh, M31 code is two zero point zero one uh, twenty, um, and that does sound like the the I is pretty pretty low, I guess. But the P is good. The P is really good. Uh, and oh, it didn't save the setting last time. That is interesting. Now there's a there's a there's a set you need to use to to save this. I believe it might be M500. 
let's see if uh, typing M500 says anything special. Receive OK. OK, cool. So we'll just set the P. We'll set the P to 4. We'll set the P to 4. Because hopefully what that does... Oh, Hopefully that will set it nicely. Uh, and then we go M500. Oh, M500. Now what that means is next time it should have saved it to the E uh, EEP ROM, which means that it will uh, remember that. Hopefully, uh, if if I got the codes right, there's also a list of codes here. Uh, M301. Uh, this is on the v3uc.com forums. They're very useful, actually, um, uh, especially when it comes to trying to find just random things that you need to do. Uh, I found many, many things on here that have been very useful from time to time. Um, so, like switches, you know, you've got the PID settings, max Z length, and then set the Z length. Um, now I did write down what the Zealand was, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's remembered this because uh, I can't fully remember what it was. Says one two six eighty. That is right, actually. I'm pretty sure that is right. Um, if not, I will double check it. But what you want to do, um, and actually, I guess I'll be checking it right now. So we want to set the home to zero on here. As you do with this, so we'll go press this button here, and now the base will go down. <coughs> okay, now the base is down. Um, you want to go back on to, is that as far as I can zoom out? Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, you want to go back onto terminal, and then you want to go to G1, G1, Z, and then set that to whatever code you had for the printer height. So, one, two, six. Oh. Actually, I think it's divided by 10, so it'd be 12. Twelve We'll try that and we'll see what happens. If it stops early, hopefully it doesn't ram the tip. It should go pretty close up to the top. I just realized uh, you want to set it to 0 0.00. Uh, because this is not actually uh, relative to the head currently. It is an exact precise position. So if we set this to 0 0.00. It will, it will move itself up to 0 0.00. If we set it to 0. I don't know, 0. Uh, sorry, Z.6, it will move it down to 6 mils. Uh, whereas if we set it to 0, 0, it will set it to as close to the bed as it could be. So now what you want to do is you want to just set it to 0. 0.00. Uh, I do need to reconfigure some of these cables around here because it's a bit, a bit of an awkward one. But yeah, as you normally do, you get a bit of paper. You try and go underneath. Uh, and if it is a bit of a drag, like this, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, and you could be happy with that if you need it to go down a bit more. I'm not sure if you can make it go down anymore. You might have to set the, you might have to say it's a relative and then do like minus 0 0.01 or something like that until it is pinching. Um, when it is pinching, note down how much you lowered it by or raised it by, uh, and then add or subtract that to the current value that you have in M240. M M240 being for me 126.8 um, 
Yeah. And then once you have added or subtracted from that number, type in just M240, as I have it here, Z130.6 or something like that. Enter, and then don't forget to M500 to save it. Um, and yeah, that is literally it. That is literally all that you need to do. And I've done that. I've managed to get my, my little Marvin out here through that. Where's he gone? There he is. I've managed to get my little Marvin out here through that. Uh, I think he came out pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the with the uh, with the prints. It is a bit loud, so maybe I will do some fan mods to this eventually. I do want to switch the fans out for some other ones. Maybe I want to switch the stepper motors for some better ones. Not really 100 percent sure, um, but I'm I'm pretty happy with the with the way the printer is at the moment and how kind of hacked together some parts of it are. Uh, if you guys need to know anything more about this or how I've wired up the Raspberry Pi inside. Uh, I think there's other videos on that, but do let me know in the comment section below if there is anything you want to know, and I am more than happy to try and help you with that. Um, but yeah, that about does it for this time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.